am making some hummus so that I have something healthy ready to eat in the fridge. I think we all really know by now how to make hummus, so I'll still step through the recipe, but really the main reason I'm making this video is because there's two ways I really want to share how to serve it. The first is going to be a more traditional way, and then the second, I kind of just made it up, and we'll see how it goes. For this, you'll need two cups of dried chickpeas, a quarter cup of tahini, a quarter cup of lemon juice, three garlic cloves, olive oil, salt, paprika, sumac, cumin, and some ice cubes. And then for the different preparations, you'll need half a pound of ground beef, a quarter cup of pine nuts, one tablespoon of avocado oil, red and green Thai chilies, red pepper flakes, Arabic seven spice, and some fresh parsley. You can use either canned or dried chickpeas to make this. I'm using dried chickpeas, so last night I had to let them sit and soak overnight. And then today I let them boil for about an hour, hour and a half until they're really soft. You know the chickpeas are ready when they're soft enough to just easily mash between your fingers. And then when they're done boiling, I'm gonna reserve about half a cup of the boiled water and also half a cup of the cooked chickpeas. And then drain the remaining chickpeas and set them aside to cool. This is where the hummus comes to life. In a large food processor or blender, add the cooled chickpeas, tahini, lemon juice, the reserved boiled water, garlic, and salt. Blend together until smooth. If you want to make it even smoother, you can add a few ice cubes and blend. Look at that. Creamy, smooth, and ready to devour. So at this point, you could just scoop some hummus and start eating, but I'm all about presentation, so this is how you can take it to the next level. There's two ways I love to eat this, one vegetarian and one with meat. The vegetarian style is a simple creation of mine. I like heat, so I thought a spicy hummus would work great. All you need to do is scoop the hummus into a serving bowl. Use the back of a spoon to form a well around the bowl. And then in the center, add some of the reserved chickpeas. Then, wet the tip of a fork and dip it in paprika, cumin, or sumac. The spice should stick to the back of the fork, so just press that into the edge of the bowl and you get these nice decorative designs around the bowl. Finally, Place a small pan on high heat, add a tablespoon of olive oil, minced garlic, and diced green and red Thai chilies. Cook until fragrant and pour into the serving bowl and garnish with fresh chopped parsley. second method, you'll need some ground beef and pine nuts. Cook the meat in a tablespoon of olive oil and season with Arabic 7 spice, salt, and pepper. I like to break the meat down into tiny pieces and get a bit of a char on it so there's a few crispy bites. In a second pan, Toast some pine nuts and olive oil until golden brown. Again, scoop the hummus into a serving bowl and make a well, and now add the cooked meat, pine nuts, fresh chopped parsley, red pepper, and of course, some more olive oil.
favorite part. I already ate it a little bit, but we're gonna pretend like this is my first bite, right? All right, so this one, this is uh, hummus and meat. So let's give that a shot. I love the crispiness on the meat. 10 out of 10, you can't go wrong with this style. Super good, give it a shot. I promise it's gonna be amazing. Now let's try my creation and see how that came out. I have the feeling that Thai chilies are gonna be a little spicy, but I like, I like spice. I don't mind it so much, but we'll see how strong this one is. So here we go. Gonna get some of the spices, some cement in there. Almost a little bit of chili. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that garlic is very tasty. And that Thai chili is starting to do its work. Yeah, that's pretty spicy. <laughs> that's pretty spicy. Overall, 10 out of 10, super good. If I had to choose, okay, if I had to choose one for myself, like personal taste. Oh man. If I had to choose one, I would go with the meat. Just because it's the traditional way, it's gonna be more filling. You have extra protein in there. And I'm not dying of heat right now in my mouth. Oh my God. One more bite of each. Chili. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Meat. Mm -hmm. 